Hey, this is Steven, back from Legit Tech Tutorials, and uh, welcome back to Beginning Assembly Language 8086, IBM PC family. And uh, we are back looking at add.asm on DOSBox, so remember to mount your drive, mount C colon forward slash 8086, um, and then jump to the C drive and then type in edit and then go file open add.asm let's open it again okay so uh, I wanted to continue talking about a little bit more of the arithmetic before we jump into multiplication division so um, here we have a little bit more of um, well, first off, of course, we're going to look at a couple more add things, and then we're going to do the one thing that we missed, and that is subtract. So it's simple. You see that we have a subtract here. So all we're going to do is go down here where we're doing the arithmetic, which is right here, and we're just going to subtract instead here. Subtract. We're going to subtract y from uh, dl from the dlo. And as you see, both of our integers are stored in there. And then we are um, adding x and y here. And this is uh, this is actually a bad comment here. It's going to be turning result back into ASCII. And this guy here is the actually um, Uh, subtracting y from x and then let's go up top and change this to the difference the difference is and then we're gonna save this guy make sure that we have everything good now remember at this time um, we only could do single digit numbers and we're going to have to write our separate program or we might just use a program that I already have in order to do a larger decimal larger a larger decimal count than just one digit single digit numbers all right so let's go ahead and go file save file exit and then we're going to do masm add link add add enter except for in this case it's not add anymore just so you know that we're going to do 6 and 3 the difference is 3 so that perfectly works fine now let's go back into the edit and open up that add and if you wanted to do something different go into add and do file save as and just do sub dot sub dot asm. So now we got to subtract. All right, so uh, we'll jump back into that add then, and we'll change this to back to the sum. The sum is and go all the way back down, and then right here we want add. Oops. and we're going to save that. All right, so now what we're going to look at is uh, a couple other different things. So we have increment and decrement. So increment and decrement, if you remember in a high-level programming language, if you've looked at one yet, it will look something like this. For example, we have x, it would be x plus plus, and that is equal, x plus plus is equal to x equals x plus one that's what that is equal to so in this case if we wanted to do something like that we would have like um, we would say right after the end of this let's say here we would go um, increment and we could do a registry in here so let's just say DL we're going to increment the DL and that has nothing at at the end. It, it knows there's you don't need to have any other um, l um, operands in there. So it's just increment, and then we could have decrement. 
So let's say we do an increment twice, and then we have a decrement. Uh, decrement DL. So let's make sure that this here works. So you can see increment INC, decrement DEC. Then we're going to say MASM add link add add. So we got to make sure that we don't have anything inside the tens place, uh, anything two digits, even with the increments twice and one decrement. So let's do two and three. So we have, we did two increments, so that's five, that's six, that's seven, and then one decrement brings it back to six. So that works correctly. All right, now uh, we also have another portion where we could do something called neg, which is to turn that value into a negative value, and you can pass in a registry or um, or a variable inside the memory. So in this case, let's say we did this, and then we wanted to neg DL, and that's uh, turn it into a negative, that stands for negative. So let's go ahead and see how this works here. So we're going to save it. Masm add link add uh, add so let's do the two and the three again so at in this point it won't output that because I believe the output is not signed so that would be if you wanted to turn it into a, like a negative number and subtract it so you could turn a positive into a subtraction you could turn an add into a subtraction so, uh, and we're going to go over one last thing. So let's say that we wanted to return an ASCII value. All right. So uh, let's say we wanted to, we had a lowercase, and we wanted to give off a uppercase. So what you would do is similar to this zero, to the zero ASCII value. Let's say we had something similar to that. Let's say we wanted to do, in the case of my book, this is what it says here. So if you want a W, you got to add the lowercase a, and that will add the ASCII value of the lowercase a, and then you're going to subtract the larger a. So the code of that would be subtract the uh, whatever character so, so wherever you're storing the character in the D low or whatever so in this case that character whether it's memory or inside of a registry there you go and that will turn any character that you put into its uppercase value so now let's say that we wanted to do a print character, which is a 1C. It is a print character right here. So it's a 2H. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So let's say we have... Let's so say we have x, de uh, z, declare byte, and we'll make it um, lowercase y. Now what we want to do is we want to bring that to an uppercase y. So we're going to go z, a minus a, and that will bring it to an uppercase. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to do what we did earlier right there. And we're going to do move. Actually, we need this in the D low. So let's go ahead and do this guy. Let's go here. We'll go sub 
sub z a minus a. So we'll print out our addition first and then we'll do the printout after because otherwise we're going to destroy the DLO. So right now we're going to destroy the DLO. So we're going to do um, we're going to do move uh, to DLO um, Z, and then we're going to do move a high. We're going to call the print the print character, and we're going to do any, interrupt twenty one H. Now this guy should be good. I didn't. I don't think I did any other. Oops. Masm add no errors link um, add uh, add two three and see now we have a capital Y there. I didn't do. I could have printed the a message out with a. That's just a blank message with the carriage return and line feed in order to get it to do that. So so let's go back. Let's 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 uh, show how to do spaces here. So what you could do, go back to add, and go here and do a. Call this blank. Blk db. 10, 13, comma, and then just put a dollar sign. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Dollar sign. Sorry, itching my nose here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the print message similar to what you see right there. So that's a 9H. So what we're going to do before we do this guy here. Here is we're going to do a move to D high. Sorry, a, move to A high. We're going to do 9H load effective address. Um, what was it? BLK, right? To the data to the data segment. So we need to load to the data segment. I mean to the DX registry, BLK, and we're going to do interrupt 21H. We're going to save that. Masm, add, link, add, add, two, three, and there are spaces the Y out because now we have a blank message there. So in order to do a print string, Make sure that you load. Um, you do a 9h. So load 9h. Uh, move 9h to a high, and then move your uh, load of effective address your message into the the data registry, and then do an interrupt 21h. And now you got your space. So now you can space everything out. I would I would even do that by default. Put it in all every single one of uh, our programs from now on. I will automatically put it in there. So let me show you guys that again. It is right here. BLK declare byte ten carriage return thirteen line feed and just a dollar sign. That's the blank. And showing you again just so you remember. Move nine, uh, move nine H, which is print string to a high load effective address blank message into DX the data registry, and then to interrupt twenty one H. Right, so this has been Steam from Legit Tech Tutorials, and this has uh, been another tutorial in assembly language. If you like my videos, please subscribe for more videos like it, and we are going to be going into more complicated assembly stuff in the next tutorial and I like to see you there and I will catch you later have a good day and keep going on the tutorials thanks for watching